10 years in the making, girl. 10 years in the making. sorry that I have not been on YouTube lately and I haven't been making a YouTube video and I really have a good reason for this and I want to explain that to you in today's video now I've been prepared <laughs> I've been preparing to leave America yes you heard right I have been preparing to leave America and the kickoff date is this year on March 26 so in the last six months maybe even a year since I've been on this channel I have been making a list of things I've had to get done like and, and I am if you see me looking over here I'm actually looking at my laptop <laughs> I have written down some items that I wanted to touch base with you on and I'll try to make it brief you know quick simple to the point but anyway between working a full-time job and you know thinking about where I'm wanting to go and how I'm going to do this exit plan out of this matrix that we call America this is what I've been busy doing in the last six months to a year I've been setting up a Charles Schwab bank account if you're not familiar with that it's like really good with um, refunding back ATM international fees so you can use your card anywhere in the world, take out cash. If you get hit with a fee, they refund it back to you. Cool thing to have, recommend it. Not only have I been doing that, but I've been having to um, search for a virtual mailbox because I gotta have my mail. And then I need to get a VPN. That's a virtual private network. You can go into that on another video and why you need it travel insurance and not to mention I have to port my phone number I need to port my US phone number to Google Voice so that I can get things like you know text messages for two-factor verification like from my bank you know that's that's important I gotta be able to do that so they can ID me and I can tap into my money the other thing is um, I gotta you know I gotta unload my shit man like I've got a whole apartment full of furniture and just dishes and clothes you name it you know everything you accumulate throughout the years like I'm I've got to line up um, what I'm gonna be taking which is bare minimum whatever I can fit in my backpack and then what I'm gonna be leaving behind either donating to charity selling on Facebook marketplace or giving it away um, for free I mean I don't know my kids might want something so yeah that and last speaking of kids I have two um, my youngest is getting ready to turn 19 next month and that isn't one of the other reasons I've been waiting to travel was because I've been waiting for him to grow up <laughs> you know I, I want to do this solo and I can't have any extra bodies with me because of course it costs more money to do so so I'm having to prepare him I got to get him situated know that he's got a job a bank account he can pay his own bills he can live out on his own with his girlfriend like you know and give him the confidence that he can do these things so yeah I've been prepping him as well and you know the, and with all of that comes the car you know we, we're a one-car family I, I've been working remote from home with my full-time job so I need to retitle the car in his name. I got to get the insurance in his name. Like it's paid for. Um, but yeah, all of the things that go with the car, that has to take place before I go. Um, and then, you know, the other thing is really just the packing part. It's after everything gets sold. It's all timings. I got to get out of my apartment at such, such a date. Um, I need to sell everything. Like I said, sell, donate, or give away and um yeah then i gotta book a ticket i have an idea where i want to go but i'm not going to disclose it yet you'll have to stay tuned but i need to book a ticket and i of course need to leave all right so if you haven't seen any of my other videos if you have you're probably familiar with what my ultimate long-term dream has been and that's been to travel it's been to see this world before I die I want to slow travel and that is the whole reason behind this and the timing was really just about 
you know, my son growing up and leaving and being done. And then I can get out of here. And now the time has come. Which leads me to this exciting thing. Drum roll, please. I'm starting a travel channel. Yes, you heard it. So this will be the last actual video I'm going to drop on this personal growth channel. And I would love for you, my subscribers, to hop on over to my new channel because uh, you don't know what kind of crap I'm going to get into. I don't even know what kind of crap I'm going to get into, but it's going to be full of adventure. Um, you know, all the normal things that come with a travel channel, right? Food, where I'm going, where I'm staying, how much does it cost? Uh, what's it like to be on an airplane for 20 hours? I don't know. It's going to be all kinds of fun stuff. So you don't want to miss that. So anyway, you know, it's my time to travel. And that is the name of the channel. It's my time to travel. Now, you're going to see my face, so if you look it up, you'll see my face, and I have one subscriber. Thank you. <laughs> so, subscribe. You know, I welcome you to subscribe and hit the button because you don't want to miss what's going to happen next, all right? And I'd love for you to come along for the ride. Now, I do have one video that I've uploaded recently to the channel. Um, my birthday week, February 7th, I went to this iconic huge four-star resort hotel on St. Pete Beach, Florida, called the Don Cesar Hotel. It was built in 1928, and it, I, it was fabulous. So in that video, which I dropped on my travel channel, it's my first video. Now it is rough. Now, you know, give me a little break. I haven't filmed in a while. I forgot my mic like I have here, but I did the best I could. I put subtitles. I got music. I got fantastic footage of not only the inside of the hotel, but the outside, um, the town surrounding it. Like I took not only was on the beach, but I, I took a bicycle ride around downtown with all the nooks and crannies and, you know, looking at all these multi-million dollar homes. Um, you know, I took a sailboat cruise for two hours, uh, going through the inlet and the pelicans and the dolphins. And again, the multi-million dollar homes right on the freaking water. Girl, you don't want to miss that. And then on top of that, I did a foodie tour, a walking food tour where um, it was through downtown St. Petersburg, and I hit up like two or three different restaurants on this food tour, and I got some footage on that as well. Um, all I can say is, man, I got the link below this video to the new channel. It's my time to travel. Click it. Check out that video there. I think you really enjoy it. So anyway, it's my first one. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing, the other thing, what is it? Anyway, uh, after, I'm gonna try to make, I know this is already too long, but, okay, my goal is, what's my goal? When I leave the States, my goal is to upload at least one video per week, if not more, depends on what's going on, but I'm gonna upload at least one video, if not more, to my new travel channel. So don't forget to hit subscribe and of course the little bell so that you always get notified. Okay, you don't want to miss it because you don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know where I'm going to be and I want you along with the adventure. It'd be fun. And then of course if you've got any cool recommendations on where I can travel to, um, let me know. Anywhere in the world that maybe you've been to that, you know, you would like me to experience. This is my first time traveling solo. Let me know, let me know. And then of course, you know, I got one more video that I have also dropped, which I will be dropping actually recently on the new channel besides the Don Cesar one, is the one about why I'm leaving America, okay? I'm not gonna go into detail with it here, so check that one out as well, and you're gonna know exactly the reason why. I'm leaving America. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being my subscriber. And thank you for joining me on my new journey. <laughs>
It's 10 years in the making, girl. 10 years in the making.